Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. I am coach number 33, executive manager for Fun Stampers Journey. And in this video, I want to show you how I created this beautiful little succulent that I have placed on this card. Now this is a pretty simple card, so I'm not gonna show you how to make the card. Um, I'll walk you through some of the steps, but really I'm focusing this video on how to create this little beautiful succulent. Okay, are you ready? All right, let's go. Okay, so these are the things that you're gonna need to create um, the succulent piece on my card. For one, obviously, you're going to need our Fun Stampers Journey Sweet Succulent Die Set. Now, this is a die set that is um, exclusive to um, hostesses. So if you host a party and your party totals $600 or more, then you are, it kind of opens up this new level of items that you can buy, and this is at that level. Um, it is just gorgeous. I love it. You have four succulent dies, and for my particular uh, succulent that I'm making today, I'm only using the smaller three. And so the dies um, come just like this. I won't be using the large one. Of course you could if you wanted to make a large one, so I'll be using this one, this one, and this one. Now I've already die cut these pieces out just to make them a little bit, make this video a little bit quicker. And I have die cut them out in our Kiwi Slice um, cardstock. So I just, I like this kind of tone and when you match it with the white ink, it just has that perfect succulent look. So to start off, we're gonna take each piece and you're going to use our whipped cream ink and one of our sponges. Now our sponges come in a circle and you can just cut them in fourths or whatever size you want to use to sponge these edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I try to get a good bit on this sponge and then using a little bit of a flicking motion, go all the way around. Now for the largest um, layer, whatever you wanna call this, the largest little uh, die, I try to get a good bit around the edges. The smaller ones use get a little less and the large ones get a little bit more. Now I also kind of lay it flat. So once I've done the edge, you can see it's kind of got like a little bit of a white rim. I'll go in and I'll just kind of lightly press on it. I don't want to get as much white in the center um, as I did the edges. So this white is kind of acting as that like wax kind of um, base that succulents tend to have. And if you want to have like some random spots of white, you can go a little bit heavier you know, sometimes they have those random little spots of white here and there. Um, you could do that. So let me go ahead and show you that one a little bit more up close. Pretty random. Now remember, you're only gonna see the outer edges of this. So you can do something in the middle, but it won't be visible. So that's the first one. And then the middle layer again with the edges. And don't be afraid, just kind of go for it. You can't go wrong here. All the way around doing the same technique and then again with the, just kind of slightly, just a little, a little press so that it has a little bit of that quote unquote wax coated look, just a little bit. And you can add a little bit more, basically tailor it to however you want it to look. And then same for the smaller piece. And this one just has a little bit less along the edges. And this one I do because it is visible, um, all of it, because there's nothing going on top, I do kind of cover the entire surface. And maybe I want this one to have a little mark. I go a little bit, um, there we go. Um, maybe this one should have a mark somewhere too. So you'll notice that as you use the sponge, it, ink is actually acc accumulating in there. So even though it might feel like there, nothing will come out, if you press real hard on a spot, you'll notice that more ink will come off. So okay, so you'll see here, completely random. That one's got a little mark over here and a mark here. The smallest one seems to have one maybe here, here, just, there's no rhyme or reason. Make it very random. Uh, nature is very random. No two succulents look the same. Okay, now from here you're ready to give it shape. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I use our, our Journey Bone Folder. It's awesome, great little grip, easy to, hand, easy to handle, and works perfect for what we're doing. So I'm taking each petal and I'm bending it around the edge 
of this bone folder and it gives you that perfect crease for the look that you're going for. I've seen this uh, succulent die used to create succulents in a different way going the opposite direction and you can do that too. So play around and see what you come up with that you like. I have also seen these succulents um, created with like a purple tone added to it. Love that too. Again, you have lots of different options. Notice I did the same thing to the, medi the medium sized die as I did to the small and I'm doing the same thing to the large. And that's really it as far as shaping. We will pull the petals forward a little bit once I glue them together. Um, but it's, this is pretty much it, guys. It's really simple. Okay, so I've got my three. Now from here, I'm going to put a little bit of our Journey Craft Glue. Awesome glue. It dries fairly quickly and also has a really great paper-to-paper -paper bond. Um, it is my favorite glue for paper-to-paper -paper bonds. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this is straight. No, my petals aren't kind of bent. We're oddly in a weird shape. And then I'm gonna pull these up a little bit. So now I'm creating the second kind of, those petals kind of giving it a forward position. And then um, you can do them where they're, they're layered right on top of one, that, one another. And um, I have seen some succulents like that. But for this one, I wanted to add a little bit, a uh, little bit of interest, visual interest, so I did that did it where the petals are in between one another you'll want to hold it down because they're gonna it's gonna want to move on you because of the way that we have we've shaped these and I'm just basically holding this down for just a few seconds while I kind of puff up and shape those bottom petals as well as some of these middle layer petals Okay, now if you're real impatient, you can blow on it or use your heating tool, but it really doesn't need it. Once you have it shaped, it's, it's pretty much going to stay there. Isn't that beautiful just the way it is? Woo, love it. Okay, so then you have your third and last layer right there using some of our Journey Craft Glue again. And this one, you do want to have it um, bent well and your petals kind of in a up motion, so kind of closed up a little bit more, not so open. And mainly that's because you want it to fit right in there and there's only a certain amount of space. And if you have your petals all spread out and opened up, it, it won't fit quite so easily. Um, and of course, we're gonna go ahead and put it down and position it some more. So it is a little tricky. I like to use my bone folder to kind of hold it in place while I shape the petals a little bit. That one actually looks pretty good here. This one I'm gonna bend and just get them in place. This one seems to be hiding behind this one, so I kind of want them all evenly. Even, dis evenly dispersed, I guess what I was trying to say. There we go. All right, there we go. And so basically you would have your card base already done. Let me zoom back out just a little bit. There we go. So you'd have this prepared, right? This is a regular A2 size card. And this is just half inch strips of black, uh, our black licorice cardstock that I adhered down and I just uh, glued it down about half inch or so spaced, uh, spaced out. The thank you is stamped in our black licorice ink and I used these must have sentiments. So here's the thank you. I could have used any of these nice long ones that would fit in that little top area. And then I used our die. Where is it? Here it is. This little guy um, to give put the little greenery pieces to there. So the summer branch die is what I used for that. Now, I was trying to just create a very random kind of beautiful green look. Succulents and succulents and summer branch may not go together, but I liked it. Um, so that's it. So once I put the strips down, I glued down the little die cut leaves, the uh, succulent on top, and on top, and I was good to go. Well, there it is. Pretty quick, pretty easy, right? Not too hard to create this beautiful succulent and then just add it or attach it to a card uh, project. We'll add just, just that little beautiful 
element of nature and beauty to your project. Um, if you are interested in finding out more on how you can host a party and earn this little guy for um, a great discount, let me know. Contact me. Put a comment below in the video below or send me uh, a message on my Facebook business page. All the info is down below. Um, and of course, you are welcome to shop my online store, which is www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.